fuck, we gotta go back downstairs. For the film thing? Um, yes, and also because I gotta ditch some of this yes that I'm carrying around with me. I'm gonna ditch that knife. That what, what did you stupid. pick up in that locker? The grenade launcher. That yeah. was a grenade launcher? Yeah. Uh -huh. well, it didn't look like a grenade launcher. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, it does. <laughs> I I'm guess. sorry, it is just a G launcher. So. Yeah, it's a G, G launcher. <laughs> Launches G. The G virus. Ooh. G virus is fucking cool as hell, dude. Whoa. I think it's pretty dumb. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's crazy, man. The G virus. It's way cooler than the T virus, that's for sure. That's for true. Oh, that makes sense. Are you ready? Wait, here you go. I can develop film here. Yeah, you can. This is the only opportunity you have to use this? Yes. Hey. Oh. Shit. What up? <laughs> Recruit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the whole purpose of this Easter egg is to get like a creepy shot of Rebecca Chambers, who is like supposed to be like 19 or 20, but it's pretty suspect if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding a giant she, uh, oh, tomato. Oh wait, it's super. <laughs> it's really weird the way that like that cannot be a regulation size basketball. The whole proportions of this whole picture are weird. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? She's all about them hoops though. So, dude, that was definitely a tomato. <laughs> yeah, Roland. That's odd. Did Roland ever tell you about the time that I almost made Tyler throw up because I ate a tomato? Uh, Dude, in broad daylight, too. It, was just like, it wasn't right. in broad daylight. We were having dinner at night. Are you sure? Yes. And my mind's fuzzy. It was pretty right. stressful. Yeah, it made you almost Wait, pass so out. Wait, so Tyler, the idea of him eating a tomato in broad daylight, would it have made it easier to digest if it was at night? I think or? he's just blaming my audaciousness. It's like, how yeah. dare sure. I? Yeah. In broad like daylight. Like a complete disregard uh, yeah. for others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we what go. What was your favorite part about it, Tyler? Fuck, dude. Nothing. I'm gonna save I, again. Dude, I, I hate tomatoes. <laughs> and I fully subscribe the, to the concept that, like, certain humans do hate tomatoes from that, like, old school theory. Do you know that theory? What? I was gonna say, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> you know that I'm not following I, I, you. At I'm all. actually on Dylan's side of this. You know that theory? You know that theory? <laughs> I thought you were just the wording it like really <laughs> verbosely for some no, reason. No, there is a tomato theory. What is this theory? <laughs> tomato theory is the scientific name for it too. What is yeah. this? I want to hear it. The tomato theorem. <laughs> it's the whole. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a. It's the thing where it says like humans like. There's a certain part of the world way back, like when humans were evolving, that like there was things that are, were tomatoes, and there's part of the world where there was things that looked like tomatoes that would like poison people. Yeah, but they they say the same thing. That's like, why is every human afraid of like things that are long and like lanky and like thin? It's like, oh, because maybe evolutionarily, at, fuck, god damn it, at some point in our life, there was some sort of monster that we were all afraid of. That's way more like far reaching than like I mean I just feel yeah, like Yeah I guess like, so. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm like I'm like dude it's the same I, logic but it's, both could be true. Well I mean okay so like if there's a red thing that looks like a tomato and poisons it will kill you and you like a part of like the evolutionary change for humans on this side of the earth right. would be like avoid this thing and they don't like it and like they right. hate it. it it's and potentially true and the other people like actually they're have tomatoes and they're chill. But like it's strange that every like every guy on my side of the fam on my dad's side of the family, my grandfather, him like his brothers, like everyone is fucking hated tomatoes, like hated tomatoes. And like, mm. I cannot stand to They gross me out to the point where like I get sick. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was the whole so, thing is that I, like, all I did, like, I just bit into yeah, like a like, whole tomato it's, if, and tired of it. Like, grossed if it's, if it's, if it's like, <laughs> that is weird as fuck. <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, fuck me. I can't even go like, this way anyway. Ketchup, fine. Ugh. I like ketchup. I love ketchup. Like, yes, that's not like pizza. I like pizza, which has tomato sauce. Like, even if it's like it's pretty diced up in like pasta, it's fine or like whatever. But like. Just a tomato itself, like a sliced piece of tomato, disgusts me, so grosses good. me out so much. The what point where like, bad tomato? Where, like, I almost like don't want to eat something that has a tomato on it. Like a cheeseburger. So it's like a... Well, because sometimes, like, I love cheeseburgers, you guys know this. Like, I will... But it's like, a, a bad tomato can ruin a cheeseburger. Yeah. Like, it just so, tastes all mushy So is it shitty. the texture that you don't like? Part it's of, partially. the taste, it's the texture, it's everything. The every existence bit. of it? Yeah. Ah, just, if they didn't exist, it would no. be better. Yeah. No! Except for the no. reason no. like butterfly. This lady's over here. Fuck me. Uh, I'm gonna run just like, right into it. I don't know what happened oh. if there would be no tomato. Something would go down in the world. And then it's like, you know, like, where, like, <laughs> if you, like, you, like, what's, what's the theory called? Like, the butterfly effect? Where, yeah. it, where if you like, change something. Yeah, I'm sure if you took out tomatoes, something else would go horribly wrong that I love. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah, pizza <laughs> probably wouldn't exist. Yeah, yeah. no oh, pizza. Shit, bro. This is... 
But like, I mean, Is Dylan brought up a good on? point to you about like. Oh, 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 oh roll so this, this is the part that made me almost poop my pants. Yeah. yeah. Dylan like scared me when I was little, like when With I was that, Yeah, so or, I mean, that's a pretty good story. It, it's like when we were kids, this is for the viewers. Ah. Uh, Oh my when God. we were kids, um, me and Tyler were playing through this game at Tyler's house, and I knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't tell Tyler. I just, I, I distinctly remember sitting on the couch in your guest room because we were playing it in there. Uh -huh. So I was like at least like a couple feet behind Tyler Roland, and I was just like covering my ears because I was scared because I knew it was gonna happen, and then it happened. Oh yeah, you Tyler didn't scare me. You just failed no, to I tell did, me. Yeah, I just waited there while <laughs> and you just I knew watched. it was gonna happen. Dude, yeah. I remember my anxiety being like fucking through the roof. Like while waiting we were for waiting. me to do yeah. that. Yeah, I was I was legitimately scared. Still, uh oh, I guess. Oh no, he's the one from before. We did go in here. Yeah, uh, no, was, no, we didn't. Yeah, it was that, locked. No, the emblem. Oh, you're right. You're always right. <laughs> we gotta talk to this this guy. The box. Can't, Can't talk to the box. There it goes. Open, close, switch. Okay, that's what let all the zombies in. Oh, because you do that and, like, the window's all shut? Uh, Is that what that does? That's what it would do if it worked. Wh I think we fix it at some point. We have to. Because it said the cord is cut. Yeah. yeah, it's like, why would we even... Why would they put it in there, you know what I mean? Oh, look, a most wanted list. Cool. But going back to your dislike for tomatoes and Dylan's story about people being fearful of tall, lanky... Uh, objects <laughs> no I mean, like, like creatures or, or i know but creatures. that's scary to everyone yeah sure yeah, well that's what i'm saying but it's like, like is there some sort of thing in our past that makes us all have this common i think it's just like, dis disproportionate but like, no 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 so like yeah, but why here, is that creepy because it's taller than you and that's a threat Maybe. but so here's like the thing, thing though follows. like what yeah, if for terrifying. the people that were from different kind of like you were saying like the dislike from like tomatoes potentially like roots from you know your family you know point of origin or whatever you were saying like what if like this tall linky creature was holding a tomato and that's is that this the whole angry this whole setup was for that <laughs> 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 it's like i don't know <laughs> okay so here's the that thing be double I, scary. I, I, hate, I hate tomatoes but if i saw a tall lengthy like lanky like super lanky tall creature holding a tomato i might instantly die yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. specifically that yeah. group of people just... like there's nothing good coming from that yeah, Roland. Oh. Like, no, like, I've never heard of the tall, wanky thing <laughs> in general that? either. Like, that's uh -huh. kind of just I've as never weird. heard that either. <laughs> mm. The Prakint key. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was drinking beer at the, when you said that. Beer. Uh, beer. Well, you know, like, in Japan, I told you that, right? How, like, in Japan, um, there's certain words that just... You feel almost like a racist when you're saying it, because like, like you're like bitter. When and, you're, and they're like, like beer right. is bitter yeah. because like it's a bastardized version of like the American pronunciation, but they know what it is. There's like a couple other words that are like that too, where I felt like a little awkward, but it's you're chill. Okay, let's see. You're like, am I being a dick? I just want a beer. Like, you're like <laughs> it's in the shape of a spade. Now it's just, just like I don't want to feel this, bad about what yeah, was yeah. that one. Milk, milk is another one that does it. Milk. I think Aaron talked about what that. What is milk? It's miliku. That's what I thought. It was something like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's See, like you just I was do like, it with a I bad thought I was gonna accent. be an asshole by saying it. And I was like, actually, no. Nope. What I said was like pretty close. It's it's correct. Um, huh. There's a few in like Chinese that are like that too. Okay, which which doors was the spade key? Spade key was the one. It's in the hallway over here. Right here. Well, the around rest, the corner. Yeah, the next, this other hallway yeah, yeah. right here. I remember the. Oh, it, I think it shows on the map. Actually, the doors that we have the key to. Um, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't the other ones. Oh, it doesn't even show which ones are locked now. Hmm. It's a weak ass map. It also doesn't tell you what the rooms are called, which is nice to know. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Wow. Because Resident Evil 7 sure gives you a lot on those maps. Yeah, well, I mean, even like the GameCube <laughs> remake of the other. Yeah, you're right. It tells you at least what the rooms are called. They always say, like hallway one. I don't know or if something. it tells you the names of the rooms in the GameCube remake, but you do get more information than what's shown here. You can see like which areas you. Resident Evil Two to. for GameCube. No, the first one. Oh, I was gonna say, was there, there ever? is one? I think there's a remake. Uh, there is a three. Were they gonna do Resident Evil Two for Steam or like on PC? No, the, I think they're remaking it still, like an official Capcom remake. Okay, it's or not out yet. Either a remake or a remaster. Oh, this, how long does it take to beat this game if you like Wish. really just make sure I didn't hear like a, a monster what right. was the question um if you know this game well like how long does it take to beat this game oh I mean if you're an average player and you know exactly where to go and what to do you can probably beat it in like anywhere from three to five hours 
That's not bad. Um, if you're really good and like you know it really well, you can do it in a couple hours. They're not long games, a lot of the time. Um, I'd say that your average first time playthrough is between like six to eight. 